sustainable agriculture plays a critical role in our environment. Regenerative practices such as cover crops and reduced tillage can reduce and remove greenhouse gases, reduce harmful runoff that pollutes our water, improve biodiversity, and produce healthy, resilient, and productive soil. But despite these benefits, adoption rates of regenerative practices remain stubbornly low across the United States. For many farmers, new practices mean new costs and a perception of new risks. Quantified Ventures and the Iowa Soybean Association saw these challenges and believed there was a better solution that aligned the interests of farmers with those of government and corporate stakeholders. So together, we set out to develop a program that provides financial and soil health benefits to farmers and conservation and environmental outcomes to corporations and governments. What emerged was the Soil and Water Outcomes Fund, a market-based approach that pays farmers to profitably implement conservation practices that generate the greenhouse gas and water quality outcomes that corporations and governments then purchase. The magic of the Soil and Water Outcomes Fund is its mix of ease of enrollment, expert agronomy staff, flexibility, and ability to compensate farmers for both greenhouse gas and water quality outcomes, which increases the size of farmer payments. What started as a 10,000 acre pilot in Iowa has grown to nearly 200,000 acres across 12 states. In 2021 alone, the carbon sequestered by enrolled farmers was equivalent to removing nearly 25,000 cars from the road. And recent awards from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and related corporate commitments to outcome-based payments to farmers provide even more funding for carbon sequestration purchases, enabling the fund's future expansion into 27 states and over 5 million acres of conservation agriculture. With farmers receiving an average of nearly $40 per enrolled acre, the Soil and Water Outcomes Fund is becoming known as the most farmer-friendly ecosystem markets program in the country and is an example of how aligning incentives for communities, governments, and corporations can address the planet's biggest challenges.